Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones back with a new video. We're weird and they're fake. Uh, before I start, I want to uh, tell you guys about a link in the description box I'm going to leave in there. Uh, I got interviewed by our local news network, um, News19, uh, WLTX. Uh, they doing a, there was an article being done about the flooding that went on in uh, in South Carolina during the during 2015, and I got I posted a comment on Reddit, and there was a, there was a journalist who was who you know saw my comment, and asked if I wanted to do an interview, and basically I just, I just talked about what happened with my truck <laughs> getting caught in floodwaters, but like I said I, um, I'll leave a link in the description box so you guys check it out. This, this would be the third time I've been on television. Uh, I was on a I was. Back in high, back in uh, back in college, I was someone point someone pointed out that they saw me at a Trump they saw me at a, a Tea Party rally that ended up on the morning news, and I was also in a commercial for the South Carolina uh, Arms Collectors Association for a gun show. So, so it was pretty cool to at least you know to at least be locally famous <laughs> to some degree. So going you know going on what's going on so going off of uh, Kamala Harris announcing her uh, her running mate. Tim uh, Tim Waltz, the governor of Minnesota, there's just been this there's been this media push of calling out everything that Trump Trump and JD Vance and conservatives themselves doing you know MAGA is weird, uh, and yeah we are a weird bunch we do a lot we do things that are weird that are, that are considered weird nowadays you know showing having loving your country is weird you know currently um, wanting you know wanting to keep wanting to keep your borders safe is weird. Wanting to actually have a strong economy is weird, and uh, it's fine. I, I'm I'm fine with being called weird, when, when I think because I think it's more important that we we point out how fake the other side is. Kamala Harris, you know, and she she's she's being um, she's being called fake for one. Trump asked about he didn't know, Trump said he didn't know she was black, because she leaned on being Indian, uh, Indian American for so long that she didn't become <laughs> that he was right. She didn't become black until. She decided to run for president, and people were saying that you know Trump shouldn't you know, he shouldn't you know bring that point up. He should stick to he should stick to policy. But really, no one's really talking about. She doesn't have any policy plans. She, she there's not. What, 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 only thing she's talking about is what. Only thing she's talking about is not being Trump, and um, keep bringing up uh, uh, t uh, t plan twenty twenty five. I forgot. I forget what it's called. Um, uh, this 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 plan set up by the Heritage Foundation, Trump, which Trump said he does not he is not part of what he's doing. He has his own plan, Agenda Forty Seven. Um, but yeah, she keeps bringing this stuff up, but really she has not discussed any policy, because really, because she doesn't, she can't. Whatever policy she has is more likely to be tied to Joe Biden, which is shown, which has been shown to be utter, have been an utter disaster for the past three and a half years. So she doesn't want to talk about policy. But she, but she will lean on, she will lean heavily on skin color. So I think Trump bringing up, um, bringing up the point of her talking about her skin color as being something that, you know, is pointing out how fake she is. And it's, it actually has brought up, has brought up, has brought up this question amongst black Americans, you know, is Kamala Harris black? I don't really, I don't, I mean, what, heritage, what, upbringing wise? I guess not. She was she, she was uh she was born in Oakland but she spent she spent a good bit of time in Canada. Uh, her mom's Indian, her dad is I think half Indian, half Irish, from Jamaica. So so it's like you know it's, she's mixed, she's mixed. It basically, it basically basically that's all it is. But she but it's, but it's interesting how she leans on this part of herself that really really hasn't been a really hasn't been a factor until she decided to run for president. In fact, she's so phony. She decided. That she even decided to try to. She, she she's like Hillary Clinton 2.0. She likes to. She tries to blend in with whatever. She tries to blend in with whatever group is in front of her. Like when she says she's smoking weed, listening to Tupac, when Tupac didn't put out an album about when she was in college. And it's interesting that she points out smoking weed when she put away. She locked up a lot of people for drug offenses while she was while she was the um, attorney general in California. <laughs> this is just like, so, just so much, so much fakery going on and going on with the, associated with the Democratic Party. That's all the only other way to do is bring up how fake they are. She's fake. Washing greens in a washing greens in a in a bathtub. You know, someone even brought up uh, Gretchen Whitmer. 
uh, the, uh, the governor of Michigan. She's not a Democrat who's fake. Uh, she there's a point that there's a point that is brought up. She wears Cartier buffs, which is a which is a, which is a glasses style that's popular with blacks, and and it seems to be. And I remember um, Uncle Hotel brought that point up months back. How when she tries to lean into, you know, try to seem like she, you know, she's accepted by a particular group um, within, you know, within Michigan, primarily, you know, primarily the black, you know, the black populace. She wears these glasses, and I think, it, which, and I remember, you know, going back to saying, you know, like I said, she's, you know, uh, she's only twenty two point oh, hot sauce, keeping hot sauce in her purse, sit down, or sat down on a black new, on a black radio station, and then get, caught, and then get caught out for it. Well, obviously she lost the she lost the election, but it's still this point of these of, of many members of the Democratic Party love to be you know they're they're fake they love they love to put on a front depending on who they're in front of. Kamala Harris she leans on you know supposedly being black. Uh, Hillary Clinton did it with you know with whether she's in front of a black audience or uh, I think it was a point of she was in front of a Jewish a Jewish audience and they change it they changing the style of her changing the tone of her voice. They try to re- they, they try to relate to the people that's in front of it. No, no, she's fake. Kamala Harris is fake, and Tim Walls is fake apparently because now because now is now words out the word is out that he's uh, he's been lying about his military career. You know, he said he you know he said he basically said he's uh he's he's used weapons of he's used weapons of weapons of war when really he he I think he was sta- he was stationed in Italy. Um, during, uh, but he didn't. But he didn't get deployed to go to Afghanistan when he was in the National Guard. And in fact, he actually dropped. He actually retired from the military when he found out his. It's likely that he dropped out of the military when he found out his his uh, company was going to be deployed. And he takes on this military rank that he didn't actually he, that he didn't actually achieve on on merit. And there was a video of uh, some soldiers in in uh, in Minnesota questioning him about it. You know, questioning of not him but his staff about why is he, you know, why is he continuing, why is he continue to call, you know, to take ownership of a rank that he didn't, or he, he seemed seemed to not earn. Again, some more fakery, more more fraudulence going on in the, in the Democratic Party. So again, if if we continue to be, if we're gonna, if we're gonna get called weird, they gotta be, they gotta be called out for being fake. You know, I don't mind being called weird. I know I don't want to be, I do not want to be, we not want to be called fake for anything. Um, I try very hard to be as authentic as I can be, and I hate for someone to call me, you know, call me fake, fraud, and imposter, or anything like that. Um, that is just, just something, I, just something I don't, I wouldn't want to make a tie to my name. But please, share, uh, you guys share your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think that's a good tactic? If we get called weird, let's call them fake. Uh, please share your thoughts in the comment, the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe. Again, in the description box, uh, I'll leave a link to the to the article and the video. <laughs> I, got, I got interviewed, you know, I guess, you know which, which, which was a pretty cool feeling. Um, any gripes, complaints, send me a PM, I still can do to address them. Also, if you want to help out the channel, go to my YouTube homepage, look for the PayPal link um, and the Cash App link. All donation amounts are appreciated. If we're weird, they're fake. I'm Edward Jones. You guys take care, be safe, stay strapped, and God bless.